What's up guys? Well the time has come. I did tell you guys after my complete Blu-ray collection video that I will be doing a complete 4K Blu-ray collection video. So if there was a couple titles in that video where you were like, why why aren't you know why aren't those movies in your collection? Well, they might be here. And if not, maybe you should leave them in the uh, comment section. If there's movies that I don't own, hey, I am totally down for suggestions. But Right off the bat, we don't have as many uh, 4Ks as we do as we did Blu-rays, but we we do have a decent amount. So let's get going. They are alphabetized. Uh, I will say that off the bat. Also, I don't have any of the slip covers on, ex except there are maybe uh, collections. Then I keep the slip covers. But if they're not, if they're normal 4Ks, I uh, take the slip covers off, put them away to basically condense uh, space um, on the uh, shelf. There's a lot more space. So. Right off the bat, let's get started with the Daniel Craig 007 collection. This includes Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, and Spectre. Um, haven't seen the first two, only seen the last two. Really like Skyfall, Spectre, I, it's, it's alright. Uh, I have to watch the first two, especially before the new one comes out in November. Ho hoping it comes out in November. Next, we have Sam Mendes' 1917, one of the best movies of last year. Looks and sounds great on 4K Blu-ray. Uh, Aladdin, one of the best Disney animated movies of all time. Robin Williams gives probably the best uh, voiceover performance ever. Uh, the live-action Aladdin, which a lot of people hate on this movie, but I actually really like it. It's probably my second favorite live-action remake. I really like what they did with the characters and what they added. It all really works for me. Uh, next up, we have Ala uh, <laughs> Alien, the 40th Anniversary Edition on 4K. Next, we have a 4K steelbook for Ant-Man. Uh, you'll notice that I do have a lot of steelbooks in the 4K set, so that's... Um, you know, I, I really like the way they look, to be honest with you. Uh, so if I can get a, uh, a Steelbook, 4K, Blu-ray, whatever, I will get a Steelbook. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, an alright sequel. Aquaman, movie's okay. Argo, just recently picked this up on 4K, have not watched it on 4K yet. The Avengers looks fantastic on 4K. Avengers Age of Ultron looks great and sounds great. Um, Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. These two movies are probably the the, the best superhero movies ever made, in my opinion. Um, if not, definitely top three or four. Uh, next is Batman, the 1989 version for Steelbook. Batman Returns, Tim Burton. Uh, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Have to rewatch this movie. The ultimate cut is the way to go, uh, but still kind of a kind of a sloppy movie. Uh, Beauty and the Beast, maybe the best animated movie ever made. One of the best scores from Alan Menken. Uh, Howard Ashman, great lyricist. The live action Beauty and the Beast, probably my third favorite of the live action remakes. Um, it's okay, it's not bad, it's not great either. Uh, Birds of Prey, haven't watched this since it came out on 4K and I honestly have no intention to. I don't know. The movie, I'm going to have to rewatch it eventually, but I have no intent to do that right now. Black Hawk Down, Black Klansman, maybe my favorite Spike Lee movie. Black Panther, a little overrated, but still good. Brave, Pixar Steelbook, um, not one of the best Pixar movies. Braveheart, really great movie. I just watched this for the first time, basically when this came out on Steelbook, and loved it, thought it was great. And uh, A Bug's Life, another kind of weaker Pixar film, but at the same time, not horrible either. Next up, we have Bumblebee, really good Transformers movie. Captain America, the <laughs> Captain America, Captain America, the first Avenger, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, and Captain America, Civil War, one of the best superhero trilogies. Captain Marvel, uh, it's okay, but I really have no want or need to rewatch it. Cars on 4K Steelbook, underrated Pixar movie. Cars 2, one of the worst Pixar movies, and Cars 3, which this is supposed to be a Blu-ray Steelbook, but I put the 4K discs into this to complete the Steelbook set. Uh, movie's okay. Cinderella, this is my favorite live-action Disney remake. I thought Kenneth Branagh did a fantastic job with it. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, one of Spielberg's, Spielberg's best movies. Coco, one of the most emotional animated movies I've ever seen. 
the Dark Knight trilogy. I'm actually seeing the Dark Knight in theaters tonight, so you can expect a vlog video up for that a little later today. I'm really excited about that. Uh, Deadpool. Deadpool 2. Really enjoy both movies. Doctor Strange. Not a bad MCU movie. Dunkirk. Great Christopher Nolan movie. E.T. The Extraterrestrial, again, one of Spielberg's best movies. Ex Machina, one of the most underrated films of 2015. Finding Nemo, one of the best animated movies. Finding Dory, an okay sequel. First Blood, amazing performance from Stallone. Ford v. Ferrari, another great movie from 2019. Forrest Gump, Tom Hanks' best performance. Frozen on 4K Steelbook. I think I paid like $7 for this, brand new. Frozen 2, I might actually like more than the first one. Jordan Peele's Get Out. Gladiator, not a bad movie at all. I actually watched it for the first time recently and really enjoyed it. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, one of the most fun, well-directed MCU movies. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, not as good as the first one, but okay. Hacksaw Ridge, one of Mel Gibson's best movies. I love that movie. Harry Potter, 8-film collection. They all look really good on 4K Blu-ray. Uh, Halloween, this is probably my favorite horror movie of all time. The new Halloween, which I'm excited for the new one. Hopefully it's a little better than this one. Guillermo del Toro's Hellboy. And Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. Really good superhero movies. Uh, Hook. Really underrated Spielberg movie. The Incredible Hulk. Not a bad MCU movie, but kind of throwaway in the end of the day. Uh, next up, we have The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Have to get the first one. And The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. I really don't really like the Part 2 of that, so that's why I don't own it. Next up, we have The Incredibles, one of my favorite Pixar movies. Incredibles 2, which is an incredible sequel, in my opinion. No pun intended. Inception. Great Christopher Nolan movie. Inside Out, one of Pixar's best written films. Interstellar, kind of falls apart in the third act, but I have a full review for it up on my channel now. The Invisible Man, one of the best movies of this year, one of the only movies of this year. Iron Man, the one that started it all. We wouldn't have gotten Avengers Infinity War or Endgame if, we, if that movie wasn't good. Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, It Chapter 1, great horror movie. Jaws, love this 4K packaging. Also looks great and sounds great on 4K. John Wick, John Wick Chapter 2, John Wick Chapter 3, really love those movies. Joker, it's probably my favorite movie of last year. The Jungle Book, the John Favreau film. King Kong, the Peter Jackson one, which I love a lot more than other people do. One of the best movie, animated movies of all time, The Lion King. The live-action animated thing, Lion King, which kind of is a bland piece of garbage. <laughs> Man of Steel, which also in the form of Cars 3 where I had the Blu-ray steelbook, I put the 4K discs inside because I like the 4K steel, uh, Blu-ray steelbook of that. The Little Mermaid, another great score and soundtrack from Alan Menken, Howard Ashman. Moana, Lin-Manuel Miranda doing his thing. Monsters, Inc., one of Pixar's best. Monsters University, not a bad sequel. I actually think it's one of the better Pixar sequels. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, another great Tarantino movie. Onward, pretty good Pixar movie. Parasite, one of the best movies of last year and my favorite foreign language film. The Patriot, which might be my favorite Mel Gibson movie. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Come on, we gotta get the other Pirates movies on 4K. Uh, the Planet of the Apes trilogy, Dawn, Rise, and War. Andy Serkis, fantastic in those movies. The Post, sp sp good Steven Spielberg movie, really good John Williams score. Uh, Predator. The Princess and the Frog. Don't you disrespect me, little man! Ratatouille, really mature Pixar movie. Ready Player One, gets a lot of hate, but I really enjoy it. The Revenant. Uh, it's easy to hate on that movie, but I like it. Uh, Saving Private Ryan, maybe my favorite Pixar movie. Schindler's List, or did I just say Pixar? <laughs> Spielberg movie, that's definitely not Pixar. Uh, Schindler's List, another great Spielberg movie. The Shallows, gotta watch this on 4K, just recently picked that up. Shazam, it was okay, the, some of the effects aren't that good. Uh, the Shining, Kubrick's best movie. 
uh, for me. Spider-Man Homecoming, really good Spider-Man movie. Spider-Man Far From Home, that Mysterio sequence where Peter Parker is going through all the, uh, the, the drones and it's just, it's great. Uh, Split, great Shyamalan movie. And Star Trek Into Darkness. Got to get the first Star Trek on 4K, but uh, yeah, don't really care for Star Trek Beyond. Next, we've got Star Wars The Phantom Menace. The 4K transfer looks a little warm, but the sound transfer is pretty good. Attack of the Clones looks great, sounds great. Revenge of the Sith, same goes for that. Uh, a New Hope, amazing uh, 4K transfer. Empire Strikes Back just recently did a returning to the theater uh, video for this, which is up on this channel now. I went and saw this movie two nights in a row last week, so that was awesome. Uh, Star Wars Return of the Jedi looks pretty good on 4K. The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. I did own Solo, but I realized I don't need that movie, so I don't have it anymore. Uh, Tangled. Thor, Kenneth Branagh, Thor The Dark World, kind of a throwaway MCU movie, and Thor Ragnarok, one of my favorite MCU movies. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, looking back on it, it's probably my favorite movie of 2017. Top Gun, Toy Story, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, probably my favorite Pixar movie, and Toy Story 4, all worthy sequels, all worthy films. Up. Jordan Peele's Us, Wally, -E, War of the Worlds, The Wizard of Oz. The best way to watch this movie is on 4K. Wonder Woman, Wreck It Ralph, and Zootopia. Whew. All right, those are basically all the 4Ks I have. I do have a couple others on the shelf over here but they are um, random box sets. So let me grab those. Okay, so just finishing up here in no particular order, we have the Jurassic uh, Park 25th Anniversary Collection. This has Jurassic Park through Jurassic World on 4K. Uh, the Spider-Man Tobey Maguire Trilogy, Spider-Man 2, one of the best superhero movies ever made. Um, we have the Cornetto Trilogy, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End. Believe it or not, uh, Bernard, uh, bleh, believe it or not, my favorite uh, in this trilogy is probably The World's End, but Shaun of the Dead is just as good. Hot Fuzz I actually don't really care for. And finally, to end this collection, we have the 8 movie collection of Fast and the Furious on 4K Blu-ray. I, pa I paid a ridiculous price for this, like 30-some dollars. It was used, but all the discs were in great condition. The box has a little ding on it, but still, I mean, it is in fairly great shape, so... Yeah, guys, that is my 4K Blu-ray collection. So now that you've seen my Blu-ray and 4K collections, is there any movies that I am missing? Um, please leave those in the comment section, movies that maybe you should recommend I get. Um, yeah, and to update you guys on what I will be getting in the future, I'll be doing uh, Blu-ray update videos, be showing you guys during the weekly live show what I pick up. So yeah, that'll be uh, fun to look forward to. Guys, thank you so much for watching this one. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, also guys, you can subscribe to this channel. As I mentioned before, I'll be doing a new vlog video tonight. We'll be returning to the movies once again to see The Dark Knight. Very excited for that. Uh, also, a whole bunch of other things coming up on this channel. Reviews, the weekly live show, Quickie Wednesday Live, where I have some digital giveaways every week. So, yeah, definitely uh, check that stuff out if you're new to the channel. And, uh, yeah, guys, that's been it for me. Thank you so much for watching this one. And until next time, over and out.